Hello Virgo, this is your Tarot forecast for November 2015. I know a lot of you have questions about what's going on in your life, how are things going to open up and expand, and so I've created a great tool for you. I'm going to be speaking about it here towards the end, so you want to follow through to hear exactly what tool I've created for you that you can use anytime, anywhere, whenever needed. I am so excited to launch this and I'm so excited to see what you think and I trust you will come to love it. And I hope you had a wonderful month there in October. I feel that there was a certain level of intensity that took place for you and it's carrying over here as you're starting out here in November and I'm feeling that there is for you now opportunities, not necessarily just career based, uh, but this is more personal opportunities that I feel that's opening up with giving you a certain level of looking at potentials. What is it you want to do now? So there is this doorway and I feel in that there's this rebirthing of energy. I feel you're quite excited here as you're starting off the month. Somehow, somewhere, somebody playing into this alongside with you. And for it, I'm feeling there is this sense of, mm, should I say stability? It might be also a person that you've had some thoughts about for a while that you would hope would come in and be more a part of what it is you're wanting to create or what it is you're wanting to expand. I'm feeling your energies are very well balanced here romantically to this month. So with you who are already in a committed relationship, it should start off pretty well. For those of you who are single, well, you're looking at that aspect of your life a little bit closer, perhaps here in November, as if the desire nature now is honing in on really wanting to get something new up and running, a new relationship. And you're ready for it. So I'm feeling here there might even be somebody that you have cast your eye upon where there is a certain level of interest and now kind of just waiting to see what perhaps that might open up for you. And that could be a, par a part of these opportunities that you're speculating on and feeling that is very, very close at hand. Now, there's a couple that shows up. Now, this couple might be a brother and sister-in-law or a sister and brother-in-law, or it could just be a, a married couple that you know. He's the outgoing, very charming, um, expressive type. She's more the creative, quiet listener, uh, but she's very deep, very spiritual, and they are a beautiful couple together. Now, some interaction is showing here for whatever reason. It's not showing me what, where, or how it's going to come together, but I see them and their influence coming in here to you early month. Now, there might be some uh, hopes, some dreams that are going to be stared. This has to do with a journey, uh, perhaps not necessarily for here in November, because it looks like a long distance trip. Maybe you're just already starting to think or dream about a, a specific place that you would like to, to journey to. And it might just then be research being done uh, regarding the trip itself or the area that you're wanting to travel to. Now, here I also see something being brought to a conclusion. Now, this is something that's given you a little worry in the past, not saying that that worry is here right now, at least not in a hands-on uh, way, other than just feeling that things have now started to heal itself. It's you're letting go of whatever it at some point might have represented for you, Virgo. So it's more like a reflection. And I feel it might have taken place here uh, some time ago, maybe uh, between now and say that of last year, November of last year. So within that time frame, some of you, it might have been five months ago. Some of you might have been 10 months ago. But there's going to be one point here, and I feel maybe it's under the moon uh, coming in that full moon here of November, where you are going to give it a little attention as far as just reflecting upon how far you have come in that one specific situation. And some of you, I see you're just going to release it out to that full moon, let it go, because why? You're in a different place right now. And where, as far as I can see, you're in a place where you're harmonizing 
and you're happy with where you're at and who you are these days. And that's what it's all about, to embrace the joy in our day-to-day -day life. In that, I'm also seeing that there's some news about somebody departing. So somebody's leaving something somewhere. Uh, this could be perhaps for a few of you in the work arena, news of somebody leaving for a different type of job. Um, for others of you, it could also even indicate where you might hear about a couple that are breaking up or moving along towards new horizons. But actually, it's all good. There's no drama in it. It's just that you're going to be the observer of this shift or this change coming up for this individual. Then I'm seeing a female who's very outgoing, extremely charming here, Virgo. Uh, I feel it's somebody who's quite close to you. Now, she's been contemplating here for a while about a certain matter. It looks like you've had conversations in the past about it, where she's been wanting to go with whatever it is she's dealing with, but it also where she's been waiting either for the right timing of events to come together or for the right timing for her to kick into action. More insight is going to come here as she's getting close to knowing what it is she's going to want to do. So this must just be mm, somebody very close that you, you talk and you share with a whole lot. Very, very charming individual. Then for you, here's a choice. And this choice, I feel, has to do with changes coming up. You, the one side of the choice is maintaining where you're at to keep the status quo going as is without no change. The other end of the stick is if you choose to go into this direction, it's going to speed up your daily life. It's going to give you more drive. It might even be taking a little bit more of your time. And I think maybe that's where the choice is coming up. Because if you go into this, new arena here. Yes, it is going to be taking some of your attention. But then again, it looks like it's delightful. It looks like it could be fun. It could be stimulating. So it's all about whether you will have the time or not to engage into this. So you're going to give it a little thought before you yay it or nay it. There's success around a male. This male is going to come to you and uh, I feel he's completed something. Uh, and ready to embark upon something new. And he's wanting your insight. And why? Well, he sees you as this very level-headed person that will always give him an answer er, that you, you shoot straight in what you see. You don't sugarcoat things. You give a very, very honest opinion. And he treasures that about you. So he's more like, hey, listen, what do you think about this? This is what I'm wanting to do. You know, so your feedback always counts a lot. So we have that going on. Now, there's a little bit of travel, and I've seen that for a lot of people. Well, here in the U.S., anyway, we do have uh, Thanksgiving coming up. And yes, there is coming and going people traveling um, to be together, family members and so forth. So that could be it here for you. And uh, But this is not, it has nothing to do with more that long distance uh, journey that I saw earlier. But uh, yes, there's, mm, should I say, schedules being discussed and set up as this comes around. And uh, of course, we love, we just love, love Thanksgiving. Here for you now, did you receive an offer in October, Virgo? If so, I'm seeing here that whatever that offer is, if you choose, to open up that door will indicate new beginnings. Some of you already starting now here at top of the month. Others I see kind of falling in on the second, third week of November with your new beginnings. So it's delightful because yes, it is something that you're ready for. Looks like it might have been something that you've been working towards for a while. And then when it finally kicks in and it happens, well, then it's all just very, very joyous. Then it is also here, who is not feeling too well? There is a female here not feeling too well. But then again, I see it's somebody that you will be supportive of. And I see this woman does have a good crowd of people around her. So she is okay in that sense. She She's really loving, very appreciative 
for the love and the support that you're getting. But for you, in the overall here now in October, well, here we go, Virgo, there is success. There's moving forward. You're really preparing not just for what now is going to come in December, which I see is more things coming in for you, but you're also already starting to prepare for the new year, 2016. And I feel, as far as I can see, you're pretty much up to spiff, which is good. You're kind of ahead of the game here right now. October blew a lot of energy your way, and I see you taking that, using it, and then setting it ahead of you. So I have a new channel, and it is called Pick Three Cards. You can find it on YouTube, or you can also find it on my website anytime, also called PickThreeCards.com. So the thing is, you hold a question in your mind, you go pick three cards, and then you listen to the answer. Here's a little test so you can see what you can expect. And then afterwards, I'll put up the link. You go straight there and start asking your questions and see what answers you're going to get back. Now, here we have somebody who exhumes power and intelligence. This is a man that we all look up to. We respect him. He's got integrity. He has lived up to his higher potential. And this is a man above all men, all the other kings in the zodiac. And it is because he lives true and authentic to his heart. He follows the guidelines of foundation in life for good rules, good integrity. It's definitely somebody that you can trust. If this man has showed up for you now in your question, you may expect this type of a person now to show up around you here in the very near future that will be supportive to you. It could be a father figure. It could be a boss or somebody that you look up to and respect. It might be a soulmate that comes in. And in that case, you will come to see in this persona that he reflects many of the facets of the diamond, meaning that you can come to recognize certain traits from the men that you have met along your path. And so you will feel very safe, very comfortable with him. And normally, well, it is definitely somebody that you can tie very, very good liaisons with. <music> 